Continuing the discussion about impeachment and whether it will impact the stock market, billionaire Ken Fisher says it won't end the bull market in stocks. According to Fisher, there is nothing that's going on now that isn't, in my opinion, pre-priced and that would stop a bull market. He went on further to say, this is kind of a circus, and circuses in the long term don't make or kill bull markets or bear markets. Will we have more circuses? We're going to have circuses all the way through November 2020 elections. If you don't expect the elections to have drama, you're missing what elections are all about. Lastly, he said that it's not a great world, but it's an okay world, and skepticism and negativity are very high. Negativity and skepticism are priced into the markets now. So, let's take a look. Today we're going to look at one chart, but we're going to mix things up a little bit. So we're looking at the spiders, the SPY, the close on uh, Friday was 295.41. And to mix things up, this is the two-year chart, and rather look at it on a weekly basis, we'll look at it on a daily basis. And that being, it's always a good idea to mix things up, to look at the charts with a different perspectives. So that's what we're going to do today. And then at the end, I'll have a few comments with regard to the, the impeachment, some follow-up comments. So looking here at the price chart, we can see that the current downtrend, I think the highest probability is for that to continue. But going back to the previous downtrend, say there in the August time frame, you can see that we hit uh, bottom near the level of that 200 EMA. And then going back there to May, uh, early June, we also hit that 200 EMA. And then back through here, early 2019, that's where we broke up through the 200 EMA. So right now, uh, we're uh, using that level as kind of a lower limit. So that's what I'm going to be looking at for. But there is a probability or a possibility that it uh, may not go down that far. But let's move here into the MACD. And I've already drawn some lines here. And basically what we're looking at is this downtrend of the tops of the MAC heading this way. Now the two previous bottoms were here and here. So oftentimes when you have a divergence like this with uh, the trend moving down in the oscillators, sometimes the, uh, the market can uh, head down and actually head lower than it was. So the divergence being the MAC heading down as opposed to the actual price chart heading on up. Now this level here was somewhat consistent to that level there. So uh, we'll just have to wait and watch on this. A couple of different uh, scenarios could play out here. So just keep a close eye on that. Into the histogram, certainly echoes what the MAC is showing, heading on down, as well as in the price rate of change, definitely heading down below zero. The fast line is below zero, so it's weakening there. And into the RSI, we're at a relatively weak 39.07 there and here we've bounced uh, once and we come down to that level again a second time so that's what i'm saying there is a possibility of one scenario of the market actually turning around here pretty soon we'll take a look at the williams and see that because the williams often is a precursor to the other oscillators so we'll have to wait and see that in a second into the stochastics it's definitely heading on the way down below the fast line is below the 50 or midline so it's weakening volume looks fine and then into williams and this is that uh, level there right here where we had that first bounce now we're coming on down again if you can see that but the fact that it bounced here like it did back in august or so leads me to believe that there is a possibility that the uh, the market could turn here relatively soon. So kind of mixed indications. Uh, some of the oscillators are showing that we're heading on down and maybe we're going to continue on down and hit that 200 EMA. Maybe by the time we get there, it could be closer to 290. I'm not quite sure, but that's not too far from where we are. So 
the mixed indications, uh, I think, are going to uh, put out some probabilities of uh, it could go down, it could go up, or it could go sideways. Unfortunately, it's really difficult to believe. Right now, I think I'm just going to stay with the price chart and say that the overall probability is that we do continue heading on down, at least in the short term. And back to the political machinations, I just have a, a couple of few thoughts for you to consider here in the future with regard to the stock market. And that is that with the signs of the economy slowing, the market might not be as resilient now as it, uh, say, was when the Mueller report came out. So if uh, there's some bad news in the headlines with regard to impeachment hearings and things, there might be some more volatility in the market. So watch out for that. Number two, there's a possibility that an impeachment inquiry would give Trump an incentive to uh, strike a, a not-so-good deal with China, meaning that uh, he's going to want to get some positive news out there. And that might be positive, say, in the short term, but uh, not necessarily in the longer term. So we'll have to keep our eye out for that. Then, number three, there's a scenario under which the impeachment inquiry might turn out to be a positive for the stock market, and that's if the public views the impeachment as mostly a politically motivated event. And if so, it may increase the probability of a Trump re-election. And right now, I'm thinking that Trump versus some of the Democrats, that uh, at least the stock market might vote uh, for Trump. And so on the other hand, though, if the public views that Trump did something wrong and the momentum swings toward the Democrats, such as Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders, that in my mind would perhaps be a negative for the stock market, given how both Warren and Sanders are, uh, are anti-corporation right now, at least a lot of the comments that they've been making uh, stumping for their political future. So keep all of that in mind. Basically, what it means to me is that the future is going to be less certain. We've got more factors to consider and perhaps more volatility. So stay tuned to this channel and we'll continue to follow the stock market path and so forth today. That's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.